Once the site has been prepared, it's time to start stacking the forms. Nudura's innovative DuraFold technology allows the entire form lineup to be shipped flat. With Nudura, you can easily carry 36 square feet of wall area on your shoulder as the forms are lightweight and easy to maneuver. Staging the forms and tools on the inside perimeter of your project is recommended for faster installation times. Keep in mind that you will have to keep everything at least 6 feet from the walls for setup of the Nadura alignment system. The footing or slab area where the form units are to be installed should be free of dirt and debris. Special care should be taken during the installation of the form units to keep the wall cavity free of foreign material. This includes foam fray that will result from cutting the forms. Extra time spent to establish an effective layout pattern for the form units in the first course will save unnecessary cutting of form units and significantly reduce the need for form support during the build. Nudura recommends starting layout on the longest wall at each corner and working towards the center, working either clockwise or counterclockwise. This also allows the forms to lock together with the patented DuraLock technology. Additionally, as stated in the introduction, having the webs line up will virtually eliminate form compression during the concrete pour. Ensure the form units are tight end-to-end -to, -end to maintain proper dimensions. The Nudura vertical joint clips replace having to tape or tie wire forms. The clips will help ensure the corner and standard forms stay tight end to end and reduce labor during installation. Nudura recommends that for the first course, eight vertical joint clips are used for both the corner and standard forms. When cutting forms to fill in the wall, be sure to cut the form away from the wall to ensure foam debris is not getting in the wall cavity. If cuts are necessary to complete a wall length, Nudura recommends where possible the form unit be cut on one of the cut lines indented into the EPS. The cut lines must be respected to ensure the DuraLock technology does line up. If dimensions work out and the forms can be cut to factory dimensions, 4 inches from either side of the web, the forms are simply cut and stacked. If the contractor installer needs to cut a form with more than 4 inches, 102 millimeters beyond the last web, on one of the provided cut lines, additional form support will be necessary to ensure that during concrete placement, these areas do not create a problem under concrete pressure. It's important to note that the vertical stack joints should always be placed in the center of the wall. One method is to use 1 inch 25 millimeter wide fiber tape to tape from one panel through to the other panel. Care must be taken to ensure the forms are dry and free from moisture as the tape will not adhere to the foam in these conditions. Cutting a 3 foot 914 millimeter long piece of form lock and installing it into each course helps to keep the joint in line. It is recommended the strapping be used to prevent bulging during concrete placement. Simply take a short length of strapping, long enough to extend past the fastening strip on both sides of the area to be reinforced, approximately 2 inches, 51 millimeters, and screw into the fastening strips. Typically, two straps per form height will be required to give sufficient form support. This method must be performed to both sides of the form. Again, cutting a 3 foot, 914 millimeter long piece of form lock and installing it into each course helps to keep the joint in line. Plan design may dictate the need to cut the forms off the guidelines provided in order to precisely conform to the floor plan. If you're faced with this scenario, simply butt the forms one against the other at the vertical seam up the height of the wall. 
Additional bracing on the interior and exterior of the wall will be required to resist concrete pressure in this area. Installation of a piece of form lock ensures the wall maintains straightness. Strap the wall with wood across the vertical seam. Pieces will need to be no longer than 16 inches, 400 millimeters, and a minimum of two pieces per course will be required. During first course placement, Nudura's T-forms need to be considered if they are part of the design in the same context that a corner form would be. Layout options should be similar to those discussed above by starting at the corners on long walls, working towards the center. Again, contractors should ensure they maintain a 16 inch, 406 millimeter vertical joint offset to best guarantee that the forms resist concrete pressure in this area. Radius connections will typically be butt or miter joints and will require a vertical stack joint of some type. The radius wall can be constructed independently of the rest of the build. For more details on radius wall estimating, assembly, and construction, refer to the technical bulletin on radius wall construction included in Appendix F of the Nudura installation manual.